hello so by the end of this tutorial you should have something like this here with the steps i'll show you you'll also be able to do this fire and the smoke and the smoke here yeah. so let's begin open up houdini go to file new project Select project location, call this explosion demo, and sure. Then accept and file, set project, Houdini project, new project, accept. Next. Go to your workspaces, change it from build to games. It'll just make it easier for us to work with for the steps we're doing. Now I'll change the background color, press D, background, dark. Next, create a new geometry context. Then inside type in GPU gonna choose this one the ground explosion gpu ground explosion select it wait for it to load nice zoom out press play just to see what we've got nice everything looks cool so we'll use this explosion Next, let's create a pyro bake volume. Just type in bake. You should see it here. All right. Then select fire. Turn fire on. And go to bindings. Fire. Change it from temperature, temperature to flame. Next, let's lower the intensity to about 50 and the smoke density to maybe five yeah looks cool looks cool then on your gpu explosion solver go to quick setups create lights let's choose sunrise accept hmm i don't like how that looks choose your distant light color Let's change it to like this gray here. And then create a camera to render out the images. Since we're working with Unreal, we want it to be square. So go to view, resolution, choose 1080 by 1080. Or whatever resolution you choose, as long as it's square. Now we want to make sure that we fit the explosion inside the square so that we don't have any wasted space while also making sure that the explosion doesn't touch the edges um, of, the, of the resolution, of the render. Alright, zoom in. Oh, on your camera. Remember to select this lock so you don't lose it when moving. Mm -hmm. And let's lower the timeline to 64. You can choose more frames if you want, but I'll work with these. Alright. I think we can zoom in a bit more. So as you can see, it doesn't touch the edges, which is what we want. Okay. Next, on your second section here. If it's on your, if it's not on your out context, just click here and choose out. Then we want labs flipbook textures 
If you don't have SideFX Labs installed, I'll leave a link in the description. That'll help you out. And once we're there, on the pyrobic volume path, just drag and drop your pyrobic volume. And on the camera path, drag and drop the camera that you want to render from. Um, the important steps here is resolution per frame and columns slash rows. Since I'm using 64, eight by eight is fine. But if you're using more, just make sure that the columns and rows correspond exactly with the timeline that you set. The resolution per frame is, as it sounds, the resolution per frame. Um, depends, depending on your project, you can use more or less. For a game, I think this might be a bit too much, but if you're just rendering a cutscene, then yeah, you can go crazy. I'll choose 512 for now for speed's sake. I'll leave a link in the description for tutorial. They'll go a bit more in depth on the flipbook textures node. All right, and before we forget, save, 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 save. Accept, all right. Select render. All right, once you see this, that means your render is complete. And mine is done. Next, what we wanna do is go to real-time shaders choose unreal engine content plugin and guides this is a plugin that will allow us to view the explosion inside of unreal choose your corresponding version i'm using 5.2 so 5.0 is fine select the side effects labs folder and copy it you can read through these for a more detailed guide next go to where your Unreal Engine project is, the U project file, creating a plugins folder. If you already have a plugins folder, just paste it, paste the SideFX Labs file inside. Next, open the Unreal project. All right. To make sure everything worked perfectly, let's check the plugins. Go to Edit, Plugins, type inside. If you see Side Effects Labs, that means everything went smoothly. Now go to Settings, Show Plugin Content, select this, click it. Then go to Plugins, Side Effects Labs Content, Materials, Templates, and then copy this. And then wherever you're working on, just paste it there. You can open it to see what's happening inside, but we'll deal with this um, another time. Right click, create material instance. This is what we wanna be working with. All right, and then go to where your renders were exported to. So for me, it was new project. You should find it in the render section, flipbook textures, and here they are. Select everything here, copy it, and then in your Unreal project, show in Explorer, and then paste everything in here. And then imports. Remember to save as well. All right, open the material instance. Scroll down. Turn everything on and you will see that there's all of these line up with um, the sections here in order. So ECD goes to here, FC here, 
and so on. So drag the first one to the top, Fi final color here. Nice, we have something that's working, looking cool. MDC1, MDC2, and um, motion vectors. Sometimes the motion vectors cause this jittery thing, so I just turn them off. I don't really need them. Uh, rather use animation speed. And yeah, here we are. Got something working. Very cool. Here's your explosion. And to see it in view, just shapes here, shapes, plane. Let's rotate it, scale it up a bit. And just drag and drop your material instance on top of the plane. Oh, let's. <laughs> Let's rotate it again. And there we go. Your explosion is complete. Nice. I'll, I'll make a part two to this video if anyone wants. Where I'll show you how to create something like this and how to use um, what we just did inside Niagara. And if you'd like to know more about this, you'll find a link in the description from side effects that will go through it in a bit more detail all right take care